Hello students, we will see the next topic under the third chapter that is the wagering agreements. Okay. ये वेगरींग अग्रीमेंट्स और ये बेटिंग अग्रीमेंट इट्स नथिंग बेटिंग ओके बेट कटोदार अब ओके इज एन अग्रीमेंट बिटवी टू पार्टी बै विच वन पार्टी प्रामिस टू पे मनी और मनी वर्थ ऑन द हैपनिंग ऑफ अनसर्टेन ईवेंट इन कन्सिड्रेशन आफ द अदर पार्टी प्रामिस टू पे द ईवेंट डज नाट हैपन ओके There are two parties. One party is promised to pay money or money is worth or money or any other things on the happening of some uncertain event. On the happening of some, the event should be uncertain. Okay, unknown event. On the happening of some uncertain event, in consideration of the other party promised to pay and the other party promised to pay. even if the event does not happen this person is promised to pay if the event is happened and another person is promised to pay the if the event is not happen okay we will see the example a and b agree that if it rains on monday a will pay b rupees 100 and if does not rain on that day b will pay the same amount to a a and b agree that if it rains on uncertain event okay whether the rain will come it's it's not the uh, certain right it's uncertain okay if it's rains on monday he will pay 100 rupees and if it does not rain on that the b will be the 100 rupees pay the 100 rupees to a that is the amount to a it is a wagering agreement it's nothing but betting agreement okay next we'll see what are the essentials of wagering agreements there must be a promise to pay money or money is worth is over the promise must be un- conditional on an event happening or not happening okay the promise on the basis of the happening of event and non happening of the event the event on the happening of which the amount is to be paid must be uncertain the event should be uncertain not the certain or not the known event it should be the uncertain unknown event there are only two parties to wagering agreements only the two parties the uncertain event maybe future it is a event okay not even is it uncertain event maybe future event or a past event but the contracting parties are not in the known of result the un- uh, the uncertain event maybe the future event or the past event also maybe the past event also but the parties of the contract know not known about the results okay each party to the agreement or stands to win or lose there they have to uh, party to the agreement was stand to win or loss either they win or they will loss okay there must be a common intention to bet at the time of making the agreement there should be a common intention of the both the parties at the time of making the bet okay next the parties to the wager should have no other interest in the event except the stake money which he will win or lose the party to the should not have any other uh, interest in the event except the stake uh, except the money which he will lose or have. he has only the uh, interest on the money not any other things okay neither of the contracting parties should have any control over the happening of the event in one way or the other the parties of the contract should not have any control over the happening of the event they should not match fixing madvantidilla avara avara result nu avare change madvage hagbardu okay next it is not necessary that the event of which the bet is placed must be unlawful the event must be unlawful event okay the uh, it's not necessary is that the event of which the bet is placed must be unlawful it's not necessary that the event should be unlawful but uh, there should be a two parties uh, betting on each other okay next one see there are some there are some exceptions to wagering agreements we'll see first one horse race carrying a prize of 500 or more the horse race actually is a betting right but uh, as per the law horse race carrying a cash prize of 500 or more it's not a wagering agreement it's illegal share market transactions undertaken with the intention of giving or taking delivery of shares sometimes share market is also uncertain events right but it's also a wagering agreements commercial transactions undertaken with the intention of gi- uh, intention of giving or taking delivery of goods this is also commercial transaction undertaken with the intention of giving or taking of delivery of goods is also not a wagering agreements next chit fund plans are this, these are not the wagering agreements next prize competition in games of skill 
that's uh, we, uh, we are getting some prizes at the time of playing the games in some competitions or any programs right that is also also not a vagaring agreement insurance contracts insurance contracts also not a vagaring agreements okay next uh, we'll see the effects of okay made correct here. effects of vagaring agreements effects of vagaring agreements section 30 of the indian contract act 1872 lays down that agreements by way of wager are all okay as per the indian contract act the agreements uh, lay down under the wager if there is a wager uh, wager agreements are all and no suit shall be brought for recovering anything alleged to be owned or not any wager or instructed to any person abate by the result of by game or any other uncertain event on which any wager is made. We cannot recover the, if the, if the person lo lose something or the, something from the betting, it cannot be recovered as per the law because the wagering agreements are always odd agreements. Okay? This is about the wagering agreements. In the next class, we will see the one more topic under this top, last topic that is the contingent contract in the next class. Okay, thank you.